English from Australia. Pelajaran nomor 95. Halo saudara pendengar. Masih ingatkah bagaimana kita minta petunjuk jalan? Coba dengarkan. Can you tell me where the station is? Can you tell me how I can get to the station? What's the quickest way to get there? How far is it from here? Kita juga sudah mempelajari bagaimana menyatakan permintaan atau bertanya secara halus. Excuse me. Can you tell me where the station is? Contoh tadi merupakan pertanyaan yang sopan. Berikut ini contoh lain. Would you mind telling me where the station is? Dalam pelajaran hari ini, kita akan mempelajari ungkapan-ungkapan lain yang serupa. Ada yang sudah pernah kita dengar, dan ada pula yang baru. Dan semuanya dipakai dalam percakapan. Coba dengarkan. Would you mind answering the phone, Ewan? Hello, 459-9544. Yes, it's Iwan here. Oh, hello, Jane. How are you? Chris? Yes, he's here. Hold the line, Jane. I'll call him. Chris? Dalam percakapan telepon yang tidak resmi, biasanya kita menyebutkan nomor telepon kita. Hello, 459-9544. Kemudian nama kita dengan ungkapan yang mulai dengan kata it. It's Iwan here. It's Iwan here. Atau Iwan speaking. Iwan speaking. Kalau kita ingin supaya orang yang kita ajak berbicara menunggu, kita mengatakan hold the line. Artinya tunggu sebentar. Hold the line. Atau hang on dengan arti yang sama. Coba dengarkan lagi. Iwan akan menerima telepon di rumah keluarga Scott. Hello, 459-9544. Yes, it's Iwan here. Oh, hello, Jane. How are you? Chris? Yes, he's here. Hold the line, Jane. I'll call him. Chris? Baiklah. Berikut ini sebuah percakapan telepon resmi yang tidak bersifat pribadi. Don ingin berbicara dengan seorang pedagang yang bernama Mr. Nelson. Hello, Mr. Nelson's office. Yes, Mr. Jones. I'm afraid Mr. Nelson isn't in at the moment. Can I take a message? Certainly, Mr. Jones. I'll get him to ring you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Goodbye. Sekretaris Mr. Nelson yang menerima telepon itu. Pertama-tama, dia menyebutkan nama kantor di mana dia menerima telepon itu. Mr. Nelson's office. Mr. Nelson's office. Kemudian dia mengatakan bahwa Mr. Nelson tidak ada. I'm afraid Mr. Nelson isn't in. Sesudah itu, ia menawarkan untuk mencatat kalau ada pesan. Can I take a message, Mr. Jones? Selanjutnya, ia mengatakan akan meminta Mr. Nelson menelpon Mr. Jones dengan kalimat yang memakai kata get. I'll get Mr. Nelson to ring you tomorrow. I'll get him to ring you tomorrow. Coba dengarkan percakapan selengkapnya antara Don Jones dan sekretaris Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson's office. Oh, hello, it's Don Jones here. Can I speak to Mr. Nelson, please? I'm afraid Mr. Nelson isn't in. Can I take a message, Mr. Jones? Uh, yes, please. Would you mind asking Mr. Nelson to phone me tomorrow? Certainly, Mr. Jones. I'll get Mr. Nelson to ring you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Jones. Baiklah. Sekarang, mari kita dengarkan beberapa contoh ungkapan yang dipakai untuk memulai percakapan lewat telpon. Pertama-tama, Ungkapan yang menyatakan siapa kita. Coba dengarkan. 
Hello, Sands and Company. Jill Gray speaking. Education Department, Ed Connors here. Chris Scott here. Can I help you? Accounts section, Julie Whitrod speaking. Lawson's Motor Repairs, Alan Lawson speaking. Extension 549, Dick Thomas speaking. Commercial Bank, good morning. Can I help you? Kadang-kadang, kalau kita menelpon lewat Wesselbor, nomor yang kita minta sedang bicara. Jadi operator akan mengatakan, I'm afraid the line's busy. Artinya, maaf, nomor yang saudara minta sedang bicara. Atau, I'm afraid the number's engaged. Kedua ungkapan tadi artinya sama. Do you want to hang on? Atau, Do you want to wait? Operator mungkin juga akan bertanya, apakah kita ingin berbicara kepada orang lain? Dalam bahasa Inggris, dipakai kata transfer, artinya memindahkan. The line's busy. Can I transfer you to someone else? Atau, The line's engaged. I'll get you transferred. Seperti sudah kita dengar, banyak sekali ungkapan yang sering dipakai dalam percakapan lewat telepon. Coba saudara ulangi beberapa ungkapan penting berikut ini. Pertama-tama, bagaimana menyatakan siapa kita kalau menerima telepon? Siap? Mr. Nelson's office. Hello, it's Iwan here. It's Chris Scott speaking. Education department, can I help you? Sekarang, ulangilah beberapa ungkapan yang sering dipakai dalam percakapan telepon. Hold the line, please. Can I take a message? I'll get him to call you. The number's engaged. The line's busy. Saudara pendengar, mari kita kembali pada Iwan dan Chris. Iwan, would you mind answering the phone again? Sure, thanks. Hello, yes, this is Chris Scott's number. Who's calling, please? Mr. Anderby's secretary. I see. Would you mind waiting a moment? I'll get him. Chris, coming, Iwan. Who is it? Mr. Enderby's secretary. Mr. Enderby wants to speak to you. Hello? Chris Scott speaking. Yes, Mr. Enderby. Yes, Mr. Enderby. I see. Yes. I'll ask him. Yes, I'd like to. Thank you. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thanks again, Mr. Enderby. I'll ring you later. Goodbye. That was Mr. Enderby from the Rotary Club. He wants to invite us to dinner. He knows Mr. Brown. Remember when you went to the country? Oh, yes. Ya, saudara pendengar. Chris baru ditelepon. Sekarang kita juga akan mendengar apa yang harus dikatakan kalau kita menelpon seseorang. Coba dengarkan Chris yang akan menelpon rumah Lucia. Hello, Mr. Rossi. It's Chris here. Can I speak to Lucia, please? Mudah bukan? Chris juga dapat mengatakan. Hello, Mr. Rossi. Chris here. Is Lucia there? Ato. Hello, Mr. Rossi. Chris here. Can I have a word with Lucia? Tadi, Chris ingin berbicara kepada salah seorang temannya. Jadi percakapannya bersifat tidak resmi. Sekarang, 
Mari kita dengarkan beberapa contoh permintaan resmi lewat telefon. I'd like to speak to Mr. Brown, please. Atau I'd like to speak to the manager, please. Atau May I speak to the account section, please? Artinya, bolehkah saya berbicara dengan bagian keuangan? Could I speak to Mr. Donnelly, please? Atau Can I have extension 262, please? Artinya, tolong sambungkan ke pesawat 262. Can I have the service department, please? Tolong hubungkan saya dengan bagian servis. Can I speak to Mr. Enderby, please? Sekarang, mari kita kembali pada Iwan dan Chris. Chris telah berbicara dengan Iwan mengenai undangan dari Rotary Club. Dan sekarang, Chris akan menelpon untuk memberitahu bahwa mereka akan memenuhi undangan tersebut. Hello? Can I speak to Mr. Enderby, please? Chris Scott. Hello, Mr. Enderby. It's Chris Scott here. I've talked to Iwan. We're both free and we'd both like to come. Thank you very much. Yes, we'll see you about seven o'clock. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Enderby. Saudara pendengar, Iwan dan Chris akan pergi makan malam bersama Mr. Enderby dan istrinya dari cabang Rotary Club setempat. Coba dengarkan beberapa ungkapan penting yang akan dipakai dalam percakapan berikut. Pertama-tama, Iwan mengucapkan thank you untuk menerima tawaran Mrs. Enderby. Would you like some tea, Iwan? Dia dapat menjawab dengan yes, please, atau yes, thank you. Dan kedua-duanya berarti dia mau minum teh. Iwan juga dapat menjawab dengan Thank you atau Yes, thanks. Tetapi ungkapan thank you itu sendiri sudah cukup untuk menyatakan bahwa kita menerima suatu tawaran. Coba dengarkan lagi. Iwan, would you like some tea? Yes, thank you. And what about some chocolate cake? Thank you. Here you are. Oh, Chris, you haven't got a chair. Would you like to sit down? Thank you. Here you are. Oh, thanks a lot. Kalau kita menolak suatu tawaran, kita harus mengatakan no, diikuti oleh thank you atau thanks. Would you like a cup of tea, Chris? No, thanks. I'm not thirsty. Would you like a piece of cake? No, thanks. Not at the moment. Artinya, terima kasih, nanti saja. Would you like a piece of cake? No, thanks. Not at the moment. Ungkapan tadi merupakan penolakan secara halus. Dan suatu ungkapan yang sering kali digunakan dalam percakapan lewat telepon ialah... Okay. See you later. Thanks for ringing. Bye. Dan kalau kita akan minta diri sesudah berkunjung, kita mengatakan... Well, thanks for inviting us. Atau... Thanks for having us. Atau... Thanks for a nice evening. Dan tuan atau nyonya rumah menjawab, Thanks for coming. Bye. Dalam percakapan berikut ini, kita akan mendengar beberapa ungkapan lain yang umum. Chris dan Iwan sedang menumpang bis dalam perjalanan ke rumah keluarga Enderby. Bis tersebut penuh. It's crowded, isn't it, Iwan? Yes. I can't see where we are. Is this the stop? Do we get out here? Yes. Come on, Iwan. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Sementara mereka dengan susah payah mencari jalan keluar di antara penumpang-penumpang lain, Chris dan Iwan mengatakan, Excuse me, suatu ungkapan yang kita ucapkan kalau kita menyenggol orang lain. Excuse me? Dan jawaban atas ucapan tersebut ialah, Certainly. Atau, Go ahead. Atau, Yes, of course. Ketika Chris akan turun, dengan tidak sengaja, dia menubruk seseorang yang akan naik. Dengarkan apa yang dikatakan Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? Yes, that's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Dan jawaban atas ungkapan tadi, yang berarti tidak apa-apa, ialah... That's okay. Atau... That's all right. Atau... Don't worry about it. Atau... It doesn't matter. Sekarang, coba saudara ulangi ungkapan-ungkapan berikut. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's all right. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Baiklah, saudara-saudara. Nah, Iwan dan Chris telah tiba di rumah keluarga Endeby. Mrs. Enderby? Oh, Chris and Iwan. Pleased to meet you. Come in. Thank you. Glad oh. you found the place. Yes, thank you. Oh, it's lovely here. Thank you. Let me take your things. Artinya, mari saya taruh jas saudara di kamar. Let me take your things. Thank you. Would you like to sit down? And something to drink? There's um, orange juice, lemonade, beer. What will you have? Orange juice, please. Oh, me too. Mrs. Enderby menghidangkan minuman sari jeruk. Perhatikanlah bahwa ia menawarkan pilihan. Kemudian mereka mulai makan dan bercakap-cakap. How long have you been here, Iwan? Nearly three years now. When will you finish your course? At the end of next year. Will you finish at the same time, Chris? Uh, yes. Yang dibicarakan dalam keadaan seperti ini biasanya hal-hal yang tidak bersifat pribadi. Misalnya tentang pekerjaan, kehidupan di Indonesia dibandingkan dengan di Australia, dan jarang sekali mengenai hal-hal yang bersifat pribadi seperti agama atau seluk beluk keluarga dari masing-masing pembicara. Where will you work when you finish your course, Iwan? I'm not sure. Perhaps in Jakarta. I'll decide when I go back to Indonesia. Sekarang, coba dengarkan beberapa contoh ucapan sopan yang lain. Is your oh. okay? Yes, it's fine. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Would you mind passing me the salt, please, Iwan? Certainly. Here you are. Oh, and Chris, could you pass me the sauce, please? Oh, sure. Here you are. Thanks very much. Have you had enough, Chris? Oh, yes, I have. It was a delicious meal. Yes, it was delicious. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Pada waktu makan, kita akan minta orang lain mengambilkan sesuatu yang agak jauh dari tempat duduk kita. Misalnya di ujung meja. Jadi kita mengatakan, Would you mind passing me the salt, please, Iwan? Orang yang minta tolong pada Iwan tadi merasa akan mengganggu Iwan kalau ia mengambil garam itu sendiri. Pujian juga diberikan secara berbeda. It was a delicious meal. Thank you. Kita menerima pujian tentang makanan, pakaian, atau rupa. Dan mengucapkan terima kasih kepada orang yang memberikan pujian tersebut. Masih ingatkah contoh ini? That's a nice tie, Chris. Oh, thank you. It's from Indonesia. Berikut ini beberapa hal lagi tentang makanan. Would you like some tea? Uh, yes. Or would you like some coffee? Tea or coffee, Iwan? I'll have tea, please. Or coffee for me, please. Nyonya rumah biasanya menawarkan sejumlah makanan atau minuman. Tamu dapat memilih apa yang diinginkan atau bahkan menolak apa yang ditawarkan. 
And there's some nice cake. Would you like a slice? Yes, please. Just a small piece. No, thanks. I really couldn't eat another thing. <laughs> well, help yourself to the cake, Chris. Artinya, silakan ambil kue sendiri, Chris. And help yourself to some more tea, Iwan. Thank you. Sekarang, coba saudara ulangi ungkapan-ungkapan berikut. Siap? Help yourself to some cake. Would you mind passing me the sauce? I'm glad you like the meal. Have a seat. Let me take your things. Dan akhirnya, kita akan mempelajari apa yang dikatakan kalau kita akan minta diri. Well, Mr. Enderby, I'm afraid we have to leave. We've got lectures in the morning. Yes, of course, I understand, Chris. Well, I'm uh, glad you were able to come. Yes, thanks very much. It was a delicious meal. It's been a very nice evening. I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's good, Iwan. It's been lovely to meet you. Well, thanks for having us. Yes, uh, thanks again. Bye. Goodbye, Chris. Goodbye, Mr. Enderby. Goodbye, Mrs. Enderby. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sekarang, Chris dan Iwan berjalan ke tempat perhentian bis. That was very nice, Iwan, wasn't it? Yes, they're a nice couple. It was very kind of them to invite us. Ah, here comes the bus. After you, Chris. Oh, thanks. Secara tidak sengaja, Chris menyenggol seorang penumpang lain. I'm sorry. That's all right. I bumped you. I'm sorry. That's okay. Hey, wait a minute. I bumped into you before. Remember? I was getting off the bus and you were getting on. Oh, yes. That's right. There's a seat here. Do you want to sit down? Thanks. What a coincidence. Sungguh luar biasa kejadian sejarah kebetulan itu. Yes, what a coincidence. Chris menyenggol gadis yang sama dengan yang disenggolnya ketika dia bersama Iwan turun dari bis. Ketika mereka mengobrol, ada hal lain yang mereka dapati. Yes, Iwan and I had a very nice evening at the Enderby's. Enderby? That's my boss's name. Mr. Jack Enderby? That's right. I'm his secretary. Uh, I was talking to you on the phone today. I'm Iwan. Oh, you're Iwan. And you're Chris. Yes, I was speaking to you on the phone today. Well, it's a small world, isn't it? The dunia ini memang kecil, bukan? Yes, it's a small world. This is my bus stop. Excuse me, Chris. Sure. My name's Francis, by the way. Well, nice to meet you, Francis. Bye. See you later. Apa yang tadi terjadi merupakan suatu kebetulan. Chris dan Iwan terus berjalan ke rumah keluarga Scott dan mereka baru saja sampai ketika telepon berbunyi. Four five nine nine five four four. Hello. Yes, this is Iwan. Hello, Mr. Enderby. Yes, Chris is here. Just a moment. Chris, it's for you, Mr. Enderby. Thanks, Iwan. Hello. Chris here, Mr. Enderby. Oh, that's okay. Oh, my wallet. No, I haven't got it. You've got it. Oh, I, I must have dropped it. Yes, I'll collect it tomorrow. Thanks very much, Mr. Enderby. 
Thanks for calling. Goodbye. Jadi, dompet Chris jatuh di rumah keluarga Enderby. Dan dia harus mengambilnya besok. Saudara pendengar, sekarang sudah saatnya kami minta diri. Tetapi, jangan lupa membaca bagian yang berjudul After the Broadcast dari pelajaran tadi. Dan bacalah juga bagian yang berjudul Before the Broadcast dari pelajaran nomor 96. Dan sekarang, goodbye listeners. Goodbye listeners.